Hi, and thank you for watching this video. I am making this video to give you some information about the Bravo test, which is a test done to measure the pH levels of your um, gastric acid. And I am going to start from the beginning, which, um, so you can kind of understand um, the whole process. So the first thing that they do is, uh, the procedure uh, is putting a capsule that is about an inch, I would say yes, about an inch um, long, and I would say like, a, I don't know, two tenths of a um, of an inch uh, around. And um, what they do is they insert that in your um, esophagus. The process itself to me wasn't, I, I wasn't awake, I was asleep, I was put under because I had another two procedures done at the same time. And so this one, I did not feel. <laughs> Although I do believe that are people that are awake while they're doing that procedure, in my case, was not like that. I started, uh, after I had that procedure done, I went to eat something almost right after I woke up because I had to uh, prepare myself for that, for the three procedures, and um, I had to fast the day before. So I went to eat, and the first time I ate, I didn't really feel anything because I was probably still under um, anesthesia at that point. So I came home, and um, they also give you actually a machine that you, it's, it's a little machine, it's not that big, it's probably a three by three, okay, machine that you wear uh, hanging up your uh, neck. And the reason why you were supposed to do that is because you have to have it handy every time you're eating to make sure that you're recording your activity. So, as I said the first time I went to eat, I didn't feel anything, but this is what you're supposed to do. When you're ready to eat something, you turn the machine on and tell it Either you're gonna eat or you're going to sleep. There are four buttons on this machine. I only do the function of two of them because I was taught only those two functions. One is on the far left, which is the one that you push when you go to eat or drink anything except for water. And then one on the farthest la um, right, which is when you are going to sleep or you are getting in bed. During the, the time that you're doing the test, you're supposed to eat absolutely everything that you eat on a regular basis. Not, not everything, but like you would, whatever you would eat on, on a day, on a regular day. So if you have for breakfast, you know, eggs and and um, I don't know, ham, and then you are just gonna go ahead and eat that, and you turn your machine before you start, and you turn it off after you are done eating or drinking. Um, after I came home that day, when they had put that machine, uh, I mean that capsule that will send the information to that machine, I drank water, and it felt almost as if I had a sore throat, but it wasn't here, it was more like down here. And it continues to feel that way, it continued to feel that way for about the two days that I've done the, the, the test. Today in the morning I was done with it, but let me go ahead and tell you um, what my experience was from that, um, from the test. So, 
when I came home, as I said, I was drinking water. I, I wasn't recording anything because when you drink water, you don't record it. You only record it when you're drinking other types of things, sodas, tea, coffee, whatever, juice, any other thing that is not water. So I did not record anything. And until about 7 p.m., I had my dinner. When I had my dinner, the pain that I started I started having was unbearable. It was really bad. This is my personal experience. It might not be yours. It might not be anybody else's. It might just be me. But my experience is that it was absolutely and completely painful. You feel the food going down your esophagus from the time you eat it. And I recommend that you chew that food really, really good <laughs> so that it's almost like, um, uh, almost like you blend it. So it, it makes sure that it, you, you really, really chew that food really good and so when it goes down, it's not as painful. So I felt every time I was, I still feel it right now. I'm, I'm swallowing saliva and I still feel the pain. Okay. It is not as bad, but I still feel it. <laughs> so I ate my dinner. Um, I had a piece of a steak and uh, sweet potatoes for dinner. And that was really painful for me. And then I had water with my dinner and then I drank tea. The water wasn't that bad. The tea was awful. I felt, again, it was very painful. I didn't have much of the tea, but I drank some. After that, I stopped drinking and eating anything else. Uh, I probably was done with my dinner, you know, about before eight o'clock. And I went to bed about at about 10 30. You're supposed to take your machine with you when you go to bed and keep it really close to you. They tell you to keep it at an arm's um, reach for the machine. That is not good. So you have to keep it really close. You're supposed to go with it and put it right next to you when you're in bed. If you're, you know, if you're turning, just pick up the machine and put it on the side where you're turning to. That's what I did. That's what I recommend for you. It might be different. Who knows? Now, let me tell you a little bit about, about my size so that you can understand um, that it might not be your experience. I am 5'3", and I weigh about 170 pounds. I am on the heavy side. So I don't know if it has to do with size or not. Uh, but I am giving that reference in case you're wondering, well, um, how tall and how heavy are you? So maybe that those, you know, uh, things have some relation to the experience itself. I am not here to say not don't do the test because it hurts. I am here to tell you that there is a way that you can probably kind of, uh, it was my experience again, that if you do something about uh, the, the, when you are swallowing, I felt like if I make my chest big, um, it was better. So making my chest big, it means like, I'm kind of like, you know, ter uh, getting some air in and making my chest like really feel like it's big. And so when I was swallowing, it, it, make, it would make it a little bit easy, easier. And it, in some instances, and sometimes it did. Also knowing when you're swallowing <laughs> your food, um, what to expect. It's also another thing that it helps a lot too. It, it probably, um, it would make you feel better knowing, you know, what to do when you're swallowing or what pain to expect and things like that, in my opinion. Um, the test lasts 48 hours, but 
the capsule will stay in your esophagus and this is important for you to know that once you're done with the test the pain does not go away or the um, uncomfort feeling does not go away because the capsule will stay in your in your esophagus for about five to seven days for some people it might be faster for some others it might be slower but that is what they tell us that it will last between five and seven days uh, you get rid of it um, just like you will get rid of it, rid of any food or any other thing that you put in your digestive system, and you will get rid of it. Um, and it's supposed to be going away between five and seven days. That is pretty much what I have to say about the test. And I want to be here for anybody that has a question that wants to ask me something about the test or about what happened to me or how I feel or how long it took or, you know, to do this test, this test. Uh, please feel free to uh, put something on, your, on the comments. If you have a critique, I appreciate it. If you have a comment, I would appreciate it. If you like my, my video, uh, please say that you like it or just do the like thing <laughs> this is my very first video and i am planning on uh, posting a new video after the seven days have gone by to tell you whether my experience again was that the um, bravo capsule uh, left within the time that i was told or if it was done if it if it left my body after or before or at the time so on and so forth i mean i i will let you know how that goes for me so thank you for watching the video and i'll see you soon